Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss about the topic which is Maslow's hierarchy of need. Now this comes under the first point of the consumer psychology in consumer purchase behavior uh which is basically motivation, right? Now what is motivation? Now a need of a customer of a consumer becomes motivation depending upon the intensity uh with which uh he wants that particular product or thing. and how actively he is ready to act upon that right so that is when a need becomes motivation how much you are motivated to get that particular product right now maslow's hierarchy of need basically divides it into five major steps where the bottom ones are part of the basic needs of the humans and the top part becomes uh, you know more of uh the things that you realize that you need after you have achieved the basic needs as a human being now most of the consumer goods uh, market uh, uh the brands that are there they try to cater to the basic need if they want to play in volumes because that is something that every human would want and that is where there is high level of competition that high the products are price sensitive and many brands uh, you know want to penetrate that market and uh, have the maximum uh, market share you can take uh, my example of many fmcg brands like hul right you have png um, and uh, many other brands right uh, but as you go up that is when uh, the basic needs uh, become uh, like are done and then people go go to their hedonic needs or maybe something that uh, enriches their current form of life and where uh, is uh, the place that the very premium brands uh, lie and those premium brands offer premium products for premium customers people who have actualized their basic needs and now they want to upgrade so usually you will find those uh, brands in the top tiers of maslow's hierarchy of need now the first one under that is the physiological needs the physiological needs is basically the most basic need of a of uh, any individual food water shelter clothing right let's take an example let's say a person who hasn't eaten for 3 4 days right the, his first priority is getting some food and water he doesn't care if he's breathing the cleanest of the airs he doesn't care if you know india or pakistan you know who wins in a cricket match he doesn't care what is currently happening in the world of fashion you know he doesn't have time for all this he needs food to survive right so physiological needs are basically your survival needs right once your survival needs are fulfilled that is when the next thing you'll think of is your basic safety needs right now what are your basic safety needs basic safety needs can be protection against crime uh safety of employment safety of uh your financial security right uh emotional stability right so these are basic safety needs that you will think of once your basic needs are done after you have achieved the basic needs of your physio- uh, physiological needs your safety needs the next one that comes is the sense of belongingness right now once an individual has achieved those two the next thing he wants is acceptance and love from the society now this can be from uh, the family uh, you know uh mother father spouse children right and this can also be from the society of an individual lives in people how they treat the particular individual how the how is he as a team player how does maybe a person's colleagues accept him or not right so that sense of belongingness is also very important for an individual and that is why this becomes part of the social need right now after Uh, the basic need your safety need and your social needs are done that is when uh, an individual starts demanding something known as the self esteem needs now self esteem uh, is basically a uh, sense of pride sense of self evaluation that an individual does and thinks of himself and demands from others right so this is basically it this is a very ego driven need if i must say uh, because it is different from your basic need but 
it has an element of self respect along with self esteem right so when i talk about self respect that is how do you value yourself and how uh, do you value the dignity that you deserve right so that comes a part of self respect now self esteem is uh, how you realize uh, your potential and you want others to recognize that potential so that becomes part of self esteem right now this acknowledgement from others as well as actualization of your esteem uh of yourself pa uh, is part of the whole self esteem needs right now after your self esteem need is fulfilled that is when the self actualization comes in now self actualization sits on very top now this is when an individual starts to enhance their uh, standard of living their type of living this is when uh, the person realizes that they need to have a sense of fulfillment in them right uh, they realize uh, what are their hobbies what do they want to pursue in life other than just achieving the basic needs uh, do they you know people start painting they start pursuing uh, their hobbies into music athletics cooking gardening right so they try to broaden their mind broaden their life span and do what they like to do and they invest towards that right so obviously so these are the five uh, basic maslow's hierarchy of need but you need to understand that though all this sounds very uh, you know psychological and you might not think of this related to a particular brand or product as such but think about it right at every step there is a brand there is a product for that particular need to be established and even though if there is not a particular brand the motivation to achieve these needs further helps the companies to understand uh, each customer of that particular uh, segmentation what they might need and how they can give that particular product or service to uh, fulfill that need or demand right because this consumer psych psychology is completely in the middle of uh, the stimulus right and the uh consumer purchase decision right so this is when a customer realizes that okay this is where i am this is what i need then their buying process starts where they realize the need recognition uh, they start realizing the alternatives in the market for that particular product or service then they make the purchase decision they purchase that product then this post purchase behavior right so this is what all that happens after you know their basic motivation is ready they are motivated to achieve that particular need i hope this was uh, really interesting for you because maslow's hierarchy of need is very much discussed in our retail industry and it's very important topic of discussion right where the individual stands in that particular pyramid because again if you notice as you go higher the pyramid becomes you know it's a pyramid so very less people go up 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 so you you know catering to that particular segment becomes very important and then it becomes clearer uh, as you go up because there are very less people up there and similarly like vice versa there are lot of people uh, who want the basic needs safety needs you know so that's how companies uh, look into it obviously this is this was just uh, one part of the motivation then you have uh, as we discussed in a previous video uh, there are other parts of consumer psychology like perception um, the learning their memory so these are also important which we will definitely discuss but yeah i wanted to start with the maslow's hierarchy of need right i hope you like the video please like subscribe and share and take care of yourself thank you